coming from You don't remember where you're coming from You don't remember where you're coming from Rastafar, I, I Why you turn your back on your brother when him need you? You don't remember the days I'm when him feed you You know when no obligation but you win some respect All you need to do is just give him one to get Turn your back on your brother when him need you all right, so me about to show you how to make the meanest oven baked jerk salmon in your kitchen fast, easy, and yes, simple. Let's get right to it now. When I usually go to the fish market, I always have them slice it, however, I want it. So that covers that. A little bit of vinegar, lemon juice, wash it really good, and you're ready to cook. Now, to make the best test of the best test of anything in your kitchen, these are my ingredients. You can switch it up if you want to, but in my kitchen, I just me I use. Now, I have green season there and I have jerk season mix there. Those are the seasons that I'm gonna put. That is homemade. I'm going to put the link below so you could make some. Otherwise, go ahead and buy your own and you'll be just fine. Now, I'm going to be adding smoked paprika. If you don't have that, just put regular paprika on it, right? I like the smoked paprika because it's gonna give it that grilled flavor that I want for this recipe. I'm also going to add some fresh garlic, honey and powder, garlic powder, salt, and black pepper. I'm also going to definitely add my seafood season, which is my fish season, because I fish me at food, right? Now I'm going to add some fresh thyme, well, dry thyme, right? I got that my up. And I'm also going to add some fermented seed. To that, I'm going to add my onion, my scallion, butter, and vinegar, because I don't know how I feel about my vinegar, right? Let's get cracking. Now, let's start cooking. Like, really, really cooking. I'm gonna add my green seasoning, my jerk seasoning, salt and black pepper, onion powder and garlic powder, smoked paprika, and my fish seasoning. We're gonna combine all this together. until it comes together like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put that goodness on the fish. I did not add any hot scotch bonnet pepper to that because that jerk season is already spicy and me for the pepper so we're good to go. I'm going to go ahead and pop this in a preheated oven. My oven right now is on 350 degrees and in about 35 minutes I'm going to come right back here. Three tablespoons of oil in that pot. Use whatever kind of oil you want to use. I'm going to add my butter to it, and I'm going to add my garlic. Then I'm going to add my dry thyme and my pimento seed to it, and just combine this together and make the butter melt. Now, after your butter melts and it starts to bubble, pretty much like that. You're going to add your apple cider vinegar. Then you're going to add your scallion and your onion to that. Now, at this step, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to give this about five to seven minutes. I'm going to come to a good bubble, like almost simmer, but not really simmer all. And after that, seven minutes, tops, I'm going to take it off the stove top. Now, after 35 minutes of baking in the oven at 350 degrees, it's time to finish off my salmon.
and share. Let me know what you'd like to see me cooking next in my kitchen. And as always, from my kitchen to your kitchen, enjoy! I'm going to let this cook for a good 30 minutes on medium heat. Cover it up nice and make it simmer. And when it's done simmer, a time for we eat. So, see you back okay, in a guys, few minutes. So this is in with your foundation for coverage. You know, like, bam. And last but not least, the last thing I tend to go for in my makeup collection is this palette right here. Let me show you what this baby looks like. It has a whole bunch of concealers. I believe it's $10 for this palette.